Hey YouTube, today we're going to be talking about this overbuilt beast of a knife, the Ethan Grow EF906. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, we'll talk about the specs of the knife first, and all of these measurements were done by me. The total length of the knife, I was getting 9 inches. The length of the blade, I was getting 3 and 7 eighths inches. The length of the handle, I was getting 5 and 1 eighths inches. The handle thickness, I was getting 16 millimeters. The width of the handle from the biggest part, I was getting 35 millimeters or 1.37 inches. The thickness of the blade, I was getting 4.8 millimeters with my calipers or 0.18 inches. The weight of the knife, I was getting exactly 10 ounces on my digital scale or 284 grams. The steel of my knife, I bought this a while back. I believe this is D2 even though the blade isn't marked, but what they say that the this knife is coming in now is 14C28N. The scales of the knife are titanium and there are bearings in the pivot. Okay, we'll look at the knife a little more closely now. It's a flipper knife and the action is pretty good. I mean, it rockets out there. I would say the detent is really good. The blade is really beautiful. It's a beautiful drop point blade, and it's got a really nice stone wash finish on it. It's got really big thumb studs on both sides. At the top of the blade, there's really large jimping. It feels really good. It offers grip. The jimping is also goes a little further on the scales. On the flipper of the knife, there's also jimping. The way this blade is shaped, it's almost, you could almost say this is a spear point blade. It's got a really nice long belly and you can sharpen it all the way to the end. And uh, my blade came really sharp out of the box. The centering is really good on my blade, really good quality control. And the blade thickness is really beefy. I was getting 4.8 millimeters on the thickness of this blade. Really big chunk of D2. And I would have to say the grind is really good. Looking at the grind, it looks pretty precise. And even though it's a really thick blade, it comes down and terminates to a really sharp point. This is a good, uh, surprisingly good slicer and piercer for the size of the blade. The color of the titanium scales are kind of a matte gray. Have these stainless steel pivot screws that you could adjust with a flathead screwdriver. Really big lanyard hole. And everything feels finished. I mean, th this is, for the price, this is pretty well done. Have a nice stainless steel pivot screw there. You have a, this is a frame lock and you have a steel insert. So you have steel against the steel of the blade when it locks up. You have a milled titanium pocket clip and it's kind of greenish. It's got some texturing on there. The clip only goes on one side. And you also have this backspacer right here that's kind of, it almost looks like an anodized purplish backspacer. And you have some more jimping, large jimping in the back. And the uh, titanium scales are not milled out. So this is a pretty heavy knife. At 10 ounces, I know a lot of people complain about how heavy this thing is, but it really depends on the person. I personally don't think 10 ounces is too heavy. I carry multi-tools that are that heavy or close to it, so it really doesn't bother me. So it really depends on the person. But this is a beautiful knife. I actually like the, I like the heft and the way it feels in the hand. It feels really good. Now on my version of the EF906, there's nothing no writing on either side of the blade, and I'm so glad because the newer ones have a big EF on the blade and some really obnoxious writing, and it really doesn't look good. It makes a, the knife look kind of cheap, and this is a really nice knife. Now, the last I checked, this knife was going for about $80 on Amazon, and they also said in the listing that they switched the steel from D2 to 14C28N, which is also a decent steel, especially if you heat treat it properly. The lockup on my knife is about 50%. The machining on the knife, it looks and feels really good. The knife feels good in the hand. I don't really feel any hot spots. And the action is very smooth. So this particular knife is only going to appeal to certain people, but if you're like me and you like overbuilt knives and the weight of the knife doesn't really bother you, I think you'll really enjoy it. I know I do. I really like this knife and I'm glad that I bought it. It's really beautiful. 
And here it is next to the Spyderco Tenacious. And this is the Ontario Rat 1. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys next week.